All right, so this story is dedicated to Kyle and Jesse because they came and visited me at work tonight and asked me to dedicate the video to them. So here we go. A little over a year ago, I was at a county fair with some friends. We were walking around. You know, I had a, a giant corn dog, rode a mechanical bull. I don't know why we didn't go on any rides, but we didn't. Um, so we were walking through the one of the exhibit halls, you know, looking at random stuff like elementary schoolers, drawings of cows, tractor parts, other stuff that I couldn't give two craps about, but everyone else did. I, I still don't know why, but oh well. Um, and so then we came to a little booth with a sign, a big sign in front that said, compliment, or free stress tests courtesy of the Church of Scientology. Now, I just couldn't help myself. So I decided to, hey, let's find out if the Scientologists think I'm stressed. So I, 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 I volunteer, I go over, sit down, they had asked if I'd like to try a stress test, and I said, sure. Um, there was this elderly lady, probably in her 60s, sits down, uh, has me hold on to what I found out later is called an e-meter, and she said it basically would measure the electrical pulses of my body and find out what is stressing me out. So I did, so I held on to it and um, just totally tried to clear my mind. They were asking questions about stuff like my family, my work, and the whole time I was just thinking about one thing. Remember the movie Happy Gilmore where he goes to Happy's place? Well, I was just trying to fixate myself on Happy Gilmore's happy place. Um, so I was there, but then I noticed every time I'd peek over at the e-meter, it would the, the little needle would spike a little bit and they would ask me what I was thinking about. So I, I the first time I looked over they asked me about work and there's like she's like, Oh that oh you, I found some str oh there's some stress there. What was that about? And I was like, Oh, work's just been very busy lately. She's like, Okay, so she kept going. When she got she asked me about relationships, I looked over quickly and Boom! Major spikage. It was it was beautiful, and so then she said, "Well, there must be a a, a very big problem in your relationships." And I was like, "Yes, there is." And um, I, I proceeded to tell a story based on several half truths um, about the relationship problems I had in my, my past and how all my relationships at the present were being terrorized and made difficult by a, a friend I had named Carol. Yeah, she doesn't exist. Um, so just how Carol was telling these vicious lies about me to my friends. They didn't believe them, but no one really liked her anyway. And she just brings everyone down, and I don't know why we're friends with her. Carol's just making my life miserable. Um, all the while, I'm, I'm looking over at my friends, trying to, to act all nervous, like that they were friends with her too, which is, I explained the whole thing after the afterwards to them. It was, it was kind of funny. Um, so and then it got to the point that the whole reason I wanted to find out uh, what, you know, trying to learn a little bit more about them, she starts telling me about this thing called Dianetics, which I immediately knew was the title of one of L. Ron Hubbard's books. And she basically told me that through Dianetics, I would be able to overcome all my fears and inhibitions and basically get whatever I wanted out of life. Well, okay, that sounds nice. But it was going to cost me 20 bucks for the book. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry, I don't want to buy a book for 20 bucks, sorry. Okay. So she starts explaining me a little bit about, actually she just kept talking more about Dianetics and saying how they had a church in Tampa. And we're starting a mission in Sarasota. We'd really like you to visit sometime. Um, if you'd like to know more about us, we've got this this DVD that you can have. I'm like, okay, great, for $10. Mm, yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna give you $10 for a DVD. So they, she gave me this little uh, this personality test to fill out and mail to them, which it wasn't, there wasn't, it wasn't postage paid. I would have had to put the stamp on myself. I don't know. I threw it away soon after. Um, and that they would be able to help me with my relationship problems. Uh, kind of nice of them, I guess. Um, but then I was leaving, uh, this one girl, uh, this other Scientologist, she was, she was much younger, probably much closer to my age stopped and, and tells me that she's concerned about me and that she really hopes that I'll, you know, I'll fill out the little person, personality profile and mail it into them. It kind of reminded me of, you know, she was like the girl. You know how like colleges recruit student athletes to go them, they to go there, they have them come visit and then they have the girl show them the show them around and uh, it's usually 
you know, the hottest girl the athletic department can get to try to convince them to go to that school. Well, if this was Scientology's version of the girl, they are struggling hardcore. I, I don't know. They're, I mean, it's Sarasota. They must have been able to find a hotter Scientologist somewhere, but I don't know. That was their last, I guess, ditch effort to, to try to try to lure me in, as it were. Um, but yeah, no dice. So I walked out. So I walked out with my friends, and they told me that uh, another elderly lady um, with the Church of Scientology had approached them while I was answering the questions, and <laughs> she basically asked them to leave <laughs> because they were afraid that that uh, their presence was going to stress me out, and uh, that it was I don't know that it was going to stress me out and maybe cause their e meter to explode or something. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting day at the fair to say the least. And that's all I've got.